Does AI content still rank in 2025? I'm here to tell you that it absolutely does, and I'm here to show you how to actually do it. Here's a case study of a website that I've been working on. I first started working on this website in January, so it's been about four months of real work on the website. And it went from getting about 50 to 100 clicks per day to now getting over 800 clicks per day, and sometimes even getting 1,000 clicks within one day. We're also ranking for over 10,000 organic keywords, and each month we get about 30,000 total visitors per month. So this case study shows you that AI content definitely does rank because I've used AI content primarily to create blog posts and articles that drives in the majority of traffic. Let's reverse engineer to see what I did to get this sort of results using AI content. Number one is keyword research, and I recommend using Ahrefs. I have a $29 per month plan. It's a very, very light plan. I do my keyword research very, very simply entering your keyword in which you would like to go after or top websites and gather keywords that are between zero and 10 difficulty and have a decent um, search volume of 500 search volume per month or higher and start writing on that content. Now, when it's time to actually write the content, I used to manually create the content using ChatGPT combined with Claude, but now what I've done is I created my own custom tool called WordRocket, and this allows me to be able to generate my content on autopilot and I'm able to not compromise my quality and my SEO optimization. So I'll show you guys how to use my tool. Just head over to app.wordrocket.ai, sign in or sign up for your account, and then you'll be able to use the templates. So as you can see here, we have a variety of different templates in which you can choose. Not only can you create really in-depth SEO optimized content, you can create content for completely free using our free SEO blog post generator. The best way to get started is by entering your open router API key, which you can get from open router. So I can enter my open router and start using the tool. I can also enter in my Gemini API key to use it for completely free because Gemini is now free. Um, as of recording of this video, I'm not sure how long it will continue to be free. But not only do we have those features, we also have the ability to improve your content. So if you have existing content that you want to improve, you can paste it into this tool, use Claude, and we will then go ahead and rewrite the content and the output is really, really good. You have the bulk blog post generator, you have the product roundup generator, and we also have the blog image generator, which allows you to generate images using OpenAI's new image generation tool. We also have the low AI humanized blog post generator, which will create content that's low AI. And we also have the real time blog post generator, which will access the live web so you can write a more up-to-date, more uh, current events very, very easily using AI. So a lot of different templates. And within all templates, you can enter in your sitemap and we'll use your sitemap naturally throughout the article. So let's say we've done our keyword research and we find a topic that we would like to write about. The first thing that you want to do is enter it within your blog post topic. And you can also enter in your target keyword. So let's say, for example, our target keyword is save and buy for your first home. And for this model, we'll be using a uh, Claude 3.7 Sonnet. The best models are Gemini and Claude. I just like Claude because I find that it's able to give me everything that I'm looking for. While Gemini is really, really good because we're using the free model, sometimes it gets a little bit overloaded. So I'm going to keep uh, my model to Claude. I'm going to keep the settings of article type, a tone of article, but again, you can change this to as you like. But let's try to aim for 3000 words and we're going to write from the first person perspective. And we're also going to include an interactive HTML element. Now, this is a huge, huge part of creating your content that elevates your content from just sort of surface level to now a content that's more interactive, which helps to increase your overall SEO. So once we're finished with all of our settings, we just want to go ahead and click generate and the content will start generating, giving it about two minutes to generate, but you'll be able to get a really in-depth article that is completely finished. All you have to do is copy it over and paste it into your WordPress site or whatever website you're using. Here's an example of what this will look like on an actual blog post. Like, so this is an article that I generated using WordRocket and I also generated the image using my image tool, ImageRocket. As you can see, it's a really in-depth article. If we scroll down, we can see that we actually have um, a custom HTML element and it's within the same format and the same branding of the website. So it's a personalized post lipoma surgery exercise timeline. So we can enter in some inputs and then generate a timeline and will give us a timeline for recovery. 
right? This is amazing, amazing because it's customizable, it's interactive, and it allows people to stay on your website a little bit longer. So once someone's reading, this is great content, but now we have an interactive tool in which we can use. And I think that just really takes your article to the next level. And we can see that overall, this article is really, really good. It's well formatted. It has uh, in-depth list tables. It has emojis and it has an interactive element baked into it with a beautiful image. This is the type of content that ranks. And if you're able to duplicate this and replicate this to a variety of different topics, um, on your website, you are guaranteed to start growing your website and getting new traffic and getting new rankings for keywords. Here is what the completed article will look like, how to save and buy for your first home, a complete guide to first time buyers. And we will be able to see a preview here. As we can see here, we have internal links baked into the article naturally. So this saves you a bunch of time. The formatting may be a little bit off. All you have to do is copy over the markdown and it should be completely fine. As you can see, it's a pretty in-depth article, long tables, internal links, and we also have the custom HTML element. Now, I think this is the coolest part of our tools that we have baked in custom HTML elements for any type of article. So it's a down payment savings calculator. You enter in your target home price, your down payment percentage, and you can calculate and you'll be able to get um, an output from that. So let's go ahead and put this all onto an article to show you what it actually looks like. So again, as I mentioned, just copy over the markdown I like to use a tool like Markdown to HTML Converter. And this is just going to give you the best output the way that it looks. We're going to copy all of this over, head back over to our WordPress site. As you can see here, it's pasted in really, really good. Only thing we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to go back over to WordRocket and we're going to have to copy over the HTML code. And I like to put it right at the top just depending on the article and HTML, custom HTML, paste, preview, looks great. Everything's baked in here. We also have our SEO title and our SEO meta description in which we can update. And once we click publish, we'll be able to see what this actually looks like on our website. Now, when it comes to creating your actual images, there's a couple of ways in which you can do so. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at the full article. So how to save and buy for your first home, a complete guide for first time home buyers. So as you can see here, we get the um, interactive HTML element that's baked in and we, then we get the actual content itself. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and create my images and my cover image. And there's a couple of ways in which you can do so. I have another tool called Image Rocket, or you can simply go ahead and use the blog image generator that is in the word rocket um, dashboard. So we have actually went ahead and created a new template for this. And the way that you get started is you need to first enter in your open AI API key. So just head over to openai.com, the playground, paste in your API key, and then you can go ahead and use the images. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to actually copy over all of the content and then I'm going to paste it in here. We're going to create three images in landscape mode. Yeah, everything there looks fine. Then we're going, to go, going to, we're going to go ahead and click generate image. What it's going to do is it's going to analyze the blog post. Then it's going to create prompts based upon the blog post. And based upon that, then it's going to go ahead and create a cover image. So this will take a little bit longer because that's just how the API works. It takes a little bit long. Once it's finished, we'll come back and take a look at it. So here's the cover image in which we get back your comprehensive guide to saving and buying your first home. So we see a couple here with a first home plan with a sold sign and a um, a home in the background. This looks really, really good, I would say. Um, if we scroll back down, we can see the full financial picture of home ownership, down payment, immediate repair, new furniture appliances, ongoing costs, closing costs, and moving expenses. This is a really, really good image. And of course, you can simply download all of these images once they're finished. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is an amazing, amazing image. We could totally use this uh, within our article. It looks really, really good. And again, it's not a stock image. It's not an image you can find everywhere else. It goes really well with the article. Here is the second image, the 2836 rule. Let's go ahead again and download this for setting a home buying budget, sample budget calculation for a household of $100,000. So again, it looks really, really good. It's still generating one more image, but I think you guys kind of get the picture. So once you have those images, you just want to head back over to your WordPress site. And of course, you want to edit your post and add in those images.
So this is now the full post. As you can see here, we have the custom HTML elements. We have internal links baked in. We also have custom images that we've created specifically for this article. Um, and everything looks good. It's an in-depth article. We have an SEO optimized title, made a description, and we've written a really, really good article and it didn't take us a lot of time. And also it was much more affordable than using most tools because we're using our own API key. So this is the exact process that I've used and I've duplicated this process to create multiple articles on different topics within a niche to get those type of results that I shared at the beginning of today's video. So if you want to use any of the tools that I mentioned in today's video, it will be in the description below. I definitely recommend using WordRocket. It is the best content tool, not just only saying that because I create it, I use it on a daily basis and it actually gets results.